In 2021, the anti-aging industry was estimated to be over $60 billion. Have they finally figured out how to turn back the hands of time? Well, that's exactly what I wanted to find out. So over the course of 14 days, I took some of the most promising anti-aging supplements I could get my hands on. What I discovered may surprise you. This is what happened, but you gotta focus. Now, a huge portion of the anti-aging industry consists of cosmetic procedures, but in this video, I will be focusing on mostly oral supplements that may have a positive impact on the aging process. To understand what exactly is anti-aging in this respect, we must look at aging itself, specifically the nine pillars, which boil down to genome, DNA, and cell damage, resulting in poor utilization of nutrients, leading to stem cell exhaustion, and decreased intracellular function. So if we can figure out a way to slow down or reverse any of those, we might be on the right path. What's up, Home Slice? So to get this anti-aging party started, we're going to be looking at a specific line of supplements that are said to help boost cellular NAD levels. The one I am going to be putting in this experiment initially is nicotinamide riboside, also known as NR for short. This brand right here was just the most popular selling on Amazon. It had good reviews, so I figured let's go with this. With that being said, I'm gonna finish up some work, then I'm gonna hit up the gym, and then we're gonna get some more supplements in. So according to the research, as one ages, NAD levels drop significantly in the body. NAD is primarily responsible for the transfer of energy throughout cells in the body, but also NAD activates a group of proteins called sirtuins, which help repair DNA. And thus, based on the studies, more NAD is linked to longevity. The problem with taking straight up NAD is it's not that biolly available and gets broken down in the digestive system. In comes NAD precursors, such as NR, NMN, as well as vitamin B3 and others. Now something I should mention is the fact that the FDA is cracking down on NMN products. But rather than getting into that, I decided to switch over and use a supplement known as NR, nicotinamide ribosome, which is said to work similar to NMN, but is currently not under the FDA's scrutiny and will hopefully remain a dietary supplement that will hopefully work the same in boosting cellular NAD levels. Now it is very possible the FDA may revoke their pursuit of NMN. Who knows, we can only wait and see. But for educational purposes and to hopefully future proof this video on YouTube, I will be taking NR. Now, I was just getting started, and I was about to introduce some more supplements. Just got back from the gym, got out of the shower, where I'm going to add on two more supplements to my anti-aging stack. This first one I've actually been taking on and off since 2014 when I first discovered this, and I have nothing but good things to say about this supplement. Astaxanthin. And I'm going to be taking this along with a, another supplement, very well known in the anti-aging community, that is resveratrol otherwise known as that antioxidant that is found in red wine, which is why everyone's like, oh, I'm drinking my red wine for the anti-aging benefits. Well, you're drinking it for the resveratrol. I have taken this in the past on and off, not as much as astaxanthin, but on and off, and I haven't had any side effects with either of these, so I'm going to be adding this to the stack today. So astaxanthin is a powerful carotenoid derived from algae. Based on my research, the benefits of astaxanthin are quite vast from improvement in oxidative stress and insulin resistance, decreased inflammation, improvement in muscle recovery, and positive benefits on the central nervous system and skin. There are a ton of studies on astaxanthin. I'll leave a link to a summary in the description. Regardless, I'm very surprised that people don't talk about this supplement more in the anti-aging community or even in the fitness community. Now, resveratrol is a powerful antioxidant found in many plant species, especially the skin of grapes, which is why it is often said resveratrol is in red wine. Rather than drinking a glass, I decided to take a resveratrol supplement the studied benefits of resveratrol when it comes to anti-aging and improvements in health are very similar to astaxanthin from anti-inflammatory properties, cardiovascular and nervous system support, as well as aiding the cells and protecting them from oxidative damage. Now, astaxanthin is a fat-soluble substance, so I decided to take it with a meal. And for my research, resveratrol can be taken with or without food. It is just recommended that it is not taken with a lot of food, apparently. So I tried to have a smaller meal. You know, there's only so much time in the day. Sometimes you just gotta to take it. Just swallowed three pills, no water. Wow, why? 
lazy. Gonna finish up the small meal, finish up some work, and then I'm gonna make some dinner. So I've got salmon cooking up for dinner. Fun fact, you know that salmon is primarily a red color due to the astaxanthin from the algae that the salmon consumes. Crazy. Oh, good morning. So I have another supplement that I'm going to be adding to my anti-aging stack today, MS. M, methyl sulfonyl methane. If you guys have seen some of my previous videos, I often talk about this. I use it in topical form. It comes in like a lotion that I like to use. I swear by it. However, this is for internal form. That's right, this is a powder that you put in water and drink. It's supposed to have the same benefits, but I guess from the inside. Oh, now something to note is the brand I found here is called Kala Health MSM. The reason I bought this one was because they use pure Opti MSM. Apparently that's the MSM you want to look for, Opti MSM, because it's made in the United States. And if it's some other MSM, it's not as, I guess, regulated, if that's the correct word. So it might have impurities in it. But Opti MSM is pretty much apparently as pure as it can get. All right, say that's good enough. Mm. It's a little bitter. Not bad, though. Without further ado, I'm going to begin my morning. Then in about 30 minutes, I'm going to have some coffee and continue this day. It's going to get interesting. There have been quite a few studies on MSM showing that it has anti-inflammatory properties, positive implications on oxidative stress. Studies have also shown that supplementation with MSM contributed to better joint health and mobility, as well as even improvements in skin health. So the way I see it, MSM has a lot of anti-aging like benefits which is why I decided to add it in to my oral supplements for this experiment. Yo, fun fact, as a whole, Americans get the majority of their antioxidants from their coffee consumption because coffee is packed with antioxidants. Now something exciting to note was later that day during my workout, I felt like my cardio was feeling actually exceptional. So I ended up having a very energetic training session that wasn't too focused on one thing, but I just felt like I was continuing to move with ease, if that makes sense. So maybe some of these anti-aging supplements were working. After the workout, I headed to the local health food store to pick up some more anti-aging supporting supplements. Got some more supplements to add to the stack. First of all, right here, we got some hyaluronic acid, which is said to help support connective tissue and joint health. Then I also picked up some maca root extract. This is said to help your body deal with stress, but I wanted to try maca out for this experiment because I was reading online that some people have claimed that maca actually helped them see improvements in skin health. Then I'm also choosing to throw in a lion's mane mushroom as well because studies have shown that lion's mane can help increase nerve growth growth factor, which is crazy. And then I also bought this acid soothe digestive enzyme complex. If you guys remember me talking about the nine pillars of aging, poor absorption of nutrients is one of them. And sometimes I notice like when I'm dealing with a lot of stress, when I go to eat, you know, I try to relax, I try to do my best, but I often sometimes feel indigestion or just like a poor digestion going on. And these digestive enzymes can help break down the food to make it easier to digest and easier to absorb. We're gonna be taking a serving of each of these with dinner, and then this only if I need it. So far, no side effects, feeling good. That's where we're at. In a 12 week double blind placebo controlled study where 120 milligrams of hyaluronic acid was given daily, the results showed significant improvement in terms of wrinkle assessment and skin elasticity compared to the control group. So I was definitely adding this one in. Now you may have heard of maca before. It was actually quite popular a few years ago. It is a root that has been long used by the Incan warriors said to help them deal with stress and aid them in energy. So from my knowledge, it works very similar to other adaptogenic herbs like Tonkat Ali, Ashwagandha, etc. in supporting the body with dealing with stress. However, I came across quite a few sources claiming that maca also helped improve skin health and skin glow, so I decided to throw it in. Lion's mane mushroom supporting nerve growth factor. The way I see it, it would be foolish for me not to include lion's mane mushroom in my anti-aging stack due to its claimed neuroprotective effects. And then finally, digestive enzymes if needed to help with the absorption of food and nutrients. So a serving of each of these supplements along with the Reservatrol and Astaxanthin taken with my dinner, relaxing and then eating, and that was all she wrote for day two. And for the next several days, we continued with this routine. 
Now some additional methods to promote anti-aging like benefits that I coupled along with these supplements were a 36 hour fast, red light and near infrared light therapy, and cold showers. Now I have made separate videos on each of these topics that relate to how these techniques may benefit the body and induce anti-aging like benefits as well as other benefits. If you're interested, check those out. I think you'll find them very interesting. And if this weren't enough, halfway through we decided to add in another supplement that I believed was very important regarding anti-aging like benefits. As we reach 30, 40, 50 and beyond, our body's master antioxidant glutathione starts to decrease. Introducing N-acetylcysteine, also known as NAC. NAC can boost your body's glutathione levels, leading to a plethora of anti-aging like benefits. Now, fun little side story, I know I probably mentioned how the FDA is after NMN and trying to get it off the shelves right now as a dietary supplement. Well, a little over a year ago, the FDA was actually after NAC as well, and it got removed from Amazon, it got removed from certain stores, but after a bunch of lawsuits, complaint, etc., etc., the FDA decided to back off. Now, it's back on Amazon, it's back in the stores. Double Woods NAC is actually two capsules for 1,000 milligrams of NAC. Most studies with NAC have been done with around like 600, 1200 and 1800 milligrams so in the 600 increments so I'm actually gonna start with the smallest dose I'm only gonna take one pill making it 500 milligrams which in my opinion should be a good enough remember golden rule try to get the most out of the least now you may have noticed most of these oral supplements have one thing or another to do with antioxidants so what do antioxidants have to do with anti-aging well looking into the nine hallmarks of aging specifically a huge chunk of the portions referencing a DNA damage have to do with damage to the telomeres which are a compound structure at the end of chromosomes responsible for healthy cell division now the pace at which telomere lengths decrease has been correlated with aging and age-related issues. Now when exposed to excessive oxidation, telomere lengths may decrease more rapidly. Thus, in theory, antioxidants should help cancel out this excessive oxidation, preventing this telomere damage, thus preventing the acceleration of aging. Now there are various studies with evidence suggesting that antioxidants and anti-inflammatories can reduce the pace of shortening of telomere length during aging. But is it possible to have too many antioxidants? Antioxidants. Well, according to the research, the answer is yes. An overload of antioxidants can lead to an imbalance resulting in negative health consequences. And because I was taking a large amount of antioxidant-like supplements, I took the smallest dose of each. Yo, so I don't know why I'm wasting my time with anti-aging supplements. You know, I can just use an app. I downloaded this app, you should definitely check it out, called Face App. And one of the options is you can change your age. And it is just creepy. Got my original photo right here. And yeah, not liking that. Let's do a uh, baby face. Oh gosh, what the frick? <laughs> More like just ate three bags of potato chips face. <laughs> Let's just jump all the way to child. All right, I'm gonna turn into a child. Oh my gosh! Dude, that is a little, that is freaky, bro. And for your information, I did not look like that as a kid. My jaw was not that strong. All right, let's go to cool old. Kind of look like Wim Hof. All right, let's just go to old. Oh, dang. Yo, that kind of looks like my dad. Sorry, dad. <laughs> Dude, that baby face one is by far the... <laughs> However, to me still, that's still just a screen. I guess this is a screen too, but right here right now real life and um looking for those secrets all right all right back to reality was i actually experiencing any positive effects from taking all these supplements well by day eight there were a few things i was experiencing to note all of my joints felt very good i also felt like my cardiovascular endurance and just breathing in general during exercising was very smooth if that makes any sense and i also felt like my skin complexion looked healthy but was this out of the ordinary or was it just a coincidence? Was it due to the entire routine together or just some of the supplements and methods within the routine? These are good questions to ask, but I also wanted more time to make sure it wasn't just a coincidence. So I decided to push this experiment to two weeks and these are my final results. What's up home slice. So it has been two weeks since I started this anti-aging experiment. So without further ado, let's take a look and see if there are any visual results. So comparing the before and after face visuals, aside from the two weeks of hair growth, in my opinion, there isn't much of a difference. In fact, I may look worse. 
The reason I think I look actually worse in the afters isn't because something bad happened regarding these supplements. It's actually because when I started this experiment, I just came back from a trip in Florida where I think I put on a little bit of a tan. And now over these two weeks here in the icy cold, that tan is gone and my skin looks more pale, revealing a little bit more of my skin blemishes and imperfections. So I guess you could say, aside from the tan and my hair growing a little bit longer in two weeks, there really is no difference, at least in my opinion, when I look at this. However, over these two weeks, I have noticed some energy differences. Like I mentioned in this video, I felt like during some of my workouts, actually most of my workouts, I had more cardiovascular energy, endurance, stamina, and I also felt like my joints felt a lot better. So based on my research and what I found, that really could be due to any of these supplements. However, like I mentioned, I have taken astaxanthin on and off for a very long time now, since 2014, and I quite frequently remember experiencing those very same benefits when taking this. So I really do think most of those benefits, that little bit of like cardiovascular endurance, feeling good and just feeling healthy, looser in the joints, is probably due to astaxanthin. Now you could be thinking two weeks might not be enough, why don't you just continue taking these supplements for like 60, 90 days, etc., and then maybe the benefits will set in. I mean, heck, even the studies I looked at regarding nicotinamide ribosome, it seemed like six weeks plus before they experienced any elevated NAD levels, etc. Now there is so much I could talk about and so much more I haven't even had the chance to look into regarding anti-aging. I mean, there are all sorts of products, supplements, etc. Heck, you could even argue most health supplements could be geared towards anti-aging because of the potential improvement in health. And right then and there, I just wanna pause, stop, and say this. Throughout exploring this topic, what I really come to conclusion right now is anti-aging isn't necessarily about turning back the clock and getting younger, like turning back into a baby. I mean, if that was possible, that would be insane. But what I'm saying is right now, I really believe the most important thing isn't anti-aging, it's healthy aging. So that's taking care of your body, getting good quality sleep, eating high quality nutrients, and trying to reduce stress to maximize health, improve your body, and improve the aging process. Be healthier as you age so you can do more things, enjoy life with less issues as you get older, as the years pass. And with that being said, it's potential that some of these supplements could help aid that process. With that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on, more videos coming out. Peace, I will see you all.